Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Faye's Terror Case in the game Firefighter. So when you start out, you're going to see an NPC of Faye right there, and she says, You want my Terror Case? Of course, as usual, you're going to have to do some work for it. So this one is pretty simple, shouldn't take too long. Basically, you just have to go through one round of the game. There's a mall, there's a hotel, there's a forest. All of them, uh, pretty much the same thing. But it says, look at the flame in her hand. There's purple flames. You have to put out six of those purple flames. So when you start... Uh, in the round, you can see there's a timer up at the top. You want to get into your vehicle and you want to go to where the fire is. So the fire trucks don't do well off of the main road, but the fires themselves are not difficult to find. So we found our fire over here at the mall. We've got a fire extinguisher and we've got an axe. The fire extinguisher, you can see right here, if you get too close to the fire, it is going to burn you and it's going to burn for a period of time. And it's going to take about a quarter to a third of your life. So you don't want to step into that. Uh, I found in first person it's a little bit easier to use your fire extinguisher to put out the flames, but you can see back there there's a purple one right there. We need to look for those purple ones and we need to put out six of those. So uh, a lot of them will actually spawn in the same spots, but they're not really difficult to find, not difficult to come across, and you've got quite a bit of time. So it doesn't hurt if you see a citizen to save a citizen while you're at it. Um, so we've got one of those. Here's another one over here just across the way. If you can't get into any particular room use your axe you can usually axe through just about anything the purple flames will also burn you just like the other flames so you want to watch out for that and you can see when your hydrant is out it's not putting out any fires and it says next to the picture of the hydrant on the left side towards the bottom you can do an e instant refill by spending 20 robux and that'll just fill it up and then you can start fighting fires again or you can just walk out and you can go out to where the fire truck is and then if you just stand up next to the fire truck you can see it is slowly going to start filling your fire extinguisher back up so it does take a little bit of time you're gonna have to stand there for a while to get it filled up so i would recommend don't uh, i would just at first just try to find six of the purple flames and put those out so uh, now that we know that we're focusing on those ones, we're going to go, we're going to find those purple flames. Looks like we've got a couple of them now and more new ones spawning here in spots where we've already put them out. So we're going to go upstairs. Uh, looks like a room that we can't get by. So we're going to use our axe and then we're going to go in there and we're going to put out that flame. Then we're going to go down. We see one more. We've put out five. So this is going to be number six as far as purple flames. So you can see on the bottom left, comes by really quick, but we've got six out of six. And then after that, you can see you're just going to get a uh, score of plus five points when you do that. But now that you've got six of them, you can't just leave the server or anything. You have to finish the round. So you have to wait for the timer up at the top to count down. It doesn't hurt to go and save some citizens while you're at it. Go put out some other fires. I uh, actually purchased a instant refill just to see if it worked. But it's only for one refill. It doesn't actually give you instant refill as like a badge. So I wouldn't purchase that. But you can find some citizens up here. Uh, if you grab the citizens, you talk to them. They will follow you. And then you just help them find their way outside. And then they are saved. Now you don't have to save all of the citizens by the end of the time in order to get the item. I was worried that that was the case. Uh, but you don't have to do that. I don't even know if you have to save any of them or if you just have to get to the end of the round. So uh, basically just worry about getting the purple flames and then finishing the round without dying. So uh, don't run into too much fire because that will kill you. But if you run into one or two, uh, you will get some more life left. But uh, time out, it says there's still four citizens in here. But more importantly, on the bottom right, you can see that you've got the bat. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get phase terror case in the game Ghost Simulator. So when you start out, there's a little arrow that just points you the direction that you need to go to teleport to the area for the metaverse event. So you go in there and you teleport. It's going to ask if you want to. So you say yes. And when you teleport, there's this person right here, metaverse uh, person, the NPC. They're going to talk to you a lot. I'm cutting out a lot of the talking and then also kind of speeding up certain parts as well. Anyways, you can see in the upper right hand corner of the screen what your missions are. You have to get five of these fox characters or fox ghosts and then three of the mushroom ghosts. So you just have to go and suck them up. You can see on the upper right hand corner, it shows your progress. And then when you're done, it says go back and talk to Mia. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna talk to that person. She's gonna give you some emeralds as a reward and then she's gonna give you another mission. Next mission is to find a uh, wishing well. So from this little log here at the top, we've got that tree trunk. Down at the bottom right here, we it looks almost like a, uh, a cemetery, like a, a, a head, headstone go there and uh when you touch that it will tell you to go back and talk to mia so you go back to the top 
you talk to Mia. So uh, after that, the next thing is you have to go to the shop and you have to use the emeralds that they uh, she gave to you in order to open a box and uh, get one of these pets. If you don't have enough emeralds, then you can keep going through and you can keep killing some ghosts. Uh, so next thing right there, you just go talk to her afterwards and then she's gonna send you on another mission. Now this next mission is going to be a bit time consuming. Don't worry, in the video, I make it go by a lot faster. But after you talk to her, she gave you a star. The star is gonna give you access to this. It won't work if you're holding your vacuum, so make sure you're not holding your vacuum. So up here, uh, it shows that you have to kill 20 ghosts. I recommend let them bunch together and let them just keep circling around them as you're sucking up the ghosts in the middle, just one at a time. Try not to get hit because as you get hit, you can see the corruption thing, the purple thing underneath the numbers for the ghosts as that goes up that's basically your life so if that gets all the way to the top and corruption gets full then you're gonna die and you're gonna have to come back in and you're gonna have to start doing this all over again uh, at least this particular mission so again same thing there's a couple different doors that you go through and each time I just recommend the same strategy let them kind of bundle together and you just shoot them as you kill some ghosts some other ones are gonna come towards the outside just let them get there in the middle try to avoid all the things that they're shooting at you with because they're gonna keep shooting at you uh, but yeah just keep going around in circles jump over their bullets and each one of these levels you're gonna have to defeat more and more of these now the final stage you have right here the meep and you have to defeat this meep it's a final boss first you defeat the bubbles after you defeat the bubble shield around it uh, by shooting it you go up to it and then you hit it with your vacuum cleaner try to avoid getting hit by all of the balls and all of the lasers because that will make your corruption go up and that's basically your life right there so uh yeah just keep shooting down the force field get close to it and then use your vacuum shoot the force field get close use your vacuum and then eventually it will die you will go back through the teleporter and it says all you have to do is go back up here and you have to talk to mia one more time we're going to come up here to the top we're going to talk to this npc over here and now that you've done all the missions you're going to talk to them and they're going to say you're back good job and basically as one of your rewards you can see is Fei Yoshida's mystery crate so when this part is over you can see you've got Fei's chest you will get a badge on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and the badge will pop hey guys I'm going to show you how to get Fei's terror case in the game Guesty. so when you get in there you need enough people in the server for it to work you can go to public servers maybe you can just get into a game and they can pretty much do it for you but you got to vote on this metaverse chapter right here uh, in the bottom in the middle it's after chapter 7 now after you do that I, I mean I'd recommend getting into a server with a bunch of people it really is this is just like any other piggy slash granny game it's a cookie cutter you go in there you find keys you open doors you advance and you try to escape so I'd recommend do player and if you're working with people have the player just kind of sit off to the side if you're doing bot and stuff you got to run away from things but basically there's a bunch of different doors there's different keys for the different doors and the keys are going to appear the first couple keys that you need first items that you need key cards they're gonna be in random places here so we've got like benches down here in the subway area you can find some stuff in there you've got Faye right there and your mission basically is to save Faye right now she's under the train she's supposed to be like in front of the train but you need to get a handle in order to move that train to get that train to go back and then you've got to save her and then you touch her and then you escape and then you get the badge so uh, again like there's there's this key a bunch of people in the server are gonna grab different keys in different locations there's one right here on this bench that's where they found it but different rounds different items are gonna spawn in different locations so just look around try to get it whatever color key you get open that color door like up here there's this little picnic area now this is a place where you can find some keys right there as well so e easily just there should be a couple of things just out in the open now just use those to open the doors now now, when you go into those doors you're gonna find additional keys or cards or items and then you take those items and you put them in the appropriate places to get the next item it's pretty simple guys this isn't very difficult it's just uh, uh, you know one person doing it by themselves is a little bit more tricky so I just say get into a server with a bunch of people and everybody just try to find the parts try to open the things and you should be able to get it like right here uh, you have to find a hammer and you have to put the hammer on that once you hit that thing with the hammer it, uh, it closes that noob guy right here and then you can grab the spray paint and then you can go and use the spray paint and then you eventually get the handle and then you get the handle and you put it next to the subway and you move the subway train and that's basically how you do it so uh there's uh, of course like i said there's different rooms 
Different colored rooms, different keys. Use the keys to unlock the doors. Uh, you can only hold one item at a, at a time. Uh, you might have to go through this a couple times, but you might also just go into a public server and start into it and get like halfway through and everybody is escaping and you just escape and you don't have to really put any effort towards it. But uh, remember this noob right here. So he's he's holding the hammer and when you put that that hammer there, that's when you can actually get the spray paint and then when you're done with that part you want to go down to the bottom here and you see how they use that handle to remove the subway train so yeah pretty straightforward just escape this game it's not very difficult guys it's a very 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 simple layout so it's not hard to find all the items open the doors and then move on to the next part so uh yeah that's how you get it and when you're done you will get the bat Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Phase Terror Case in My Skate Park. So when you start, you want to select Skate so you can move around a little bit faster. And then Faye's going to tell you that someone stole the parts to her skateboard. So you have to find the parts. And then there's a little cutscene that shows you the different areas. There's one there, there's one here, and there's one here. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get these. Thanks again to my friend Blazies, who already had this one, and came and showed me how to do it. So uh let's see so follow where i go basically in the video there's three different spots one the first one is on the end of a really big ramp and you don't actually have to go up to the top of the ramp like i do you can just go down the side of it uh but you can see what we do here in a minute uh right here this big one over off to the corner you can climb up here if you want and uh it's a, it takes a little bit of time to climb to the top and then uh basically the the item or the piece to the skateboard is at the end of the ramp but you can see that here that I don't actually make it to the end of the ramp I drop off a little bit and then I click so that I can skate and then uh, and then I kind of fall off to the end and I didn't actually go off the end but over here you can just jump onto the side which I'd recommend just do that in the beginning and then you can see the part of the skateboard is right there so yeah just two more parts and just follow where I go here in this video and collect those parts All right, then here we go to the final part. When you pick that up, Faye is going to talk to you, and you can see on the bottom right corner of the screen, you've got yourself that badge. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Phase Terror Case in the game RB Battles. So you go in the game, and first thing you have to do, you have to get two coal eggs. So every now and then, it's just going to keep on playing these mini games, and unless you go to spectate mode, then you will be part of the mini games. So you want to collect two coal eggs to get to the next part. There's a balloon, and in order to get to that part, you got to get the eggs. So uh, every single mini game that you have, there's an egg in there everyone in the map can collect the egg uh, so usually they're pretty easy to find they're not very hidden sometimes you have to go a little bit through the game in order to get to the next part so you can get the egg like this one for instance in this uh, in this lava run map we climb up here now right over on the other side of this box right there you can see right there there is a coal egg so we picked up one of the coal eggs right there so far here's a next round right here the bubble blast right there so you can see the coal egg was right there we picked it up it was really easy you just run around the circle until you see it and then you pick it up so now that you've got two coal eggs from two of the mini games you can actually go past this barrier and there is a hot air balloon over there that looks like an egg you'd almost think that they were signing up for the egg hunt anyways it's going to teleport you after a bunch of cutscenes over this next area so this first part you have to collect there's 60 orbs and you have to collect all of them in order to expose the key that you need to get to the next area so of course this is going to be easier if you've got four people in a server all working together some of these orbs are on the lily pads check on top of the rocks some of them you have to actually jump up in the air in order to grab them none of them are really hidden or anything they're really really easy to find so after you get all 60 of those from running around you can see over here that the key opens so one person needs to go over there and grab the key okay so we've got the key now that we've got the key we're going to go to the door to go to the next part so uh here we go we're using the key we're getting access to the next area so this is a little bit of a maze but it's more of a you got to catch this key uh the key runs pretty fast so i recommend in order to catch up to it do some rolling do some jumping try not to run into the walls like i did anyways uh once you 
go fast enough from rolling, you can eventually catch it. Or if you have more people in the server, you can have someone cut it off and have someone on either side of it. Anyways, once you catch that one, and you've only got a certain amount of time, guys, some of these, they're counting down at the top. And when that runs out, you may have to start the whole thing all over from the beginning. So make sure you guys are quick enough. Now, you want to make sure you get at least 50, or you want to get plenty of these little yellow balls, because that's going to be ammo against the boss when you go up against them. But in this part, different panels have these blocks. Some of them are up there where you're supposed to enter them, and you can see we've passed a bunch of these. They're not difficult to find at all. They're just kind of along those panels where the zip lines are. You go up to the top and you want to enter them into this thing so you can expose the key. Now it goes in there in a certain pattern. You can see it's just kind of like a, I don't know, like a sideways eight or an infinite sign around the key. Just, just want to make it look just like that image around the key. So now we need, just need to go back in these zip lines, try to see if we can find any more of these boxes. The boxes generally are not around the ground floor. They're up here uh, where the zip lines and all that stuff is. So now that I've got one and Ultimate has the other one, we've got the last ones. We just click it. We're going to enter it in there. So when you enter all of these blocks in there, you can see that it exposes the key. And now one of the people can actually grab that key. So we're going to grab this key and we're going to go to the next door just like we have with the previous ones. So, okay, down here, I'd recommend uh, if you can, if you don't have enough, I've only got 19 out of 50 of the ammo for uh, for the boss battle. There's still a few more things and there's still plenty of opportunity to get it, but uh, it's never a bad time to just pick up. Make sure you have enough of those because it's a really strong weapon against the boss battle. So uh, Ultimat has opened the next area. We're gonna come in here. This one's not too difficult in Hop City. Towards the end, there's just a bunch of uh, rabbits there, and in the middle of those rabbits, right there on the left side, there's a key. So you just grab that key right there in the middle of the rabbits. Looks like my friend already got it. And then in order to get to the next part, you gotta make sure you have that key. So you just put the key right in there. Now this next part, there's a whole bunch of key cards sprawled out all over the place, and only one of them is actually going to work. So you wanna pick one up, then you wanna arm it like your gear, then you wanna put it in that thing, and if it says red, then it's not the right one. So you wanna keep going around, get these, and then put them inside of that machine. Uh, just make sure you actually put it all the way inside the machine, and it's yours that went in, not somebody else's, because you could still hold it, be holding on to one, and makes it difficult to pick up another one. But the timer's running, and uh, <laughs> generally, the very last one that we put in, I'm not sure, maybe you have to put in all of them, but I think it's just one of these that is actually going to uh, access the next part. And then we've got Faye Yoshida. She's like, come on, come on, there's something. I don't know, something's going on. I think she's she's trying to tell us something. Uh, uh, Lassie, what, is Timmy stuck in a well? Is, is Timmy stuck in a well, Faye? Okay, we're gonna come and defeat this guy and get him out of the well. Uh, all right, so this is the boss battle. Uh, I recommend use th that F right there, all of those, the ammo that you picked up, the super gun ammo, use that because that's way more effective on him. So you wanna circle around him, you wanna jump over the shock waves, and you wanna avoid anything that he hits you with. You can die three times, guys. So if you get knocked off or you lose life, and you die, you can respawn and continue, but if you lose all your lives and you don't have any left, then you're gonna die and you're gonna have to start this whole thing all over. Anyways, when you defeat the boss, you can see you've got the badge there on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get phase terror case in the game Rose Citizen. So when you start out, you want to pick criminal if you have played it before or it's making you citizen or you've picked police by accident. Go to this person here by the spawn and her name's Emma and uh, and you can actually switch teams. I recommend doing this on the criminals team. It's a lot easier. Otherwise, from the police team, you can do a mission and it's you got to go arrest people and all that stuff. And uh, it's just so much easier to be criminal. So switch to the criminal team. Then you see on the bottom left, there is a map there and it shows you all the locations that you can go to in order to spray paint the walls now there's more than five there's tons of them all over the place and you may get if you're in a public server you may get arrested by people in the process just keep coming back and keep doing more of these uh, but you just need to do five of these in order to get the badge it takes a little while once you start the spray painting it takes a few seconds it takes like a good I don't know 20 seconds before it's done spray painting but when you've done the fifth one you can see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen you've got yourself the badge
Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Phase Terror Case in the game Speedrun Simulator. So this is one of those games where basically all you have to do is as you run, you get stuff. And as you click, you get stuff too. So you want to keep getting a whole bunch of clicks. And as you get clicks, you're going to keep leveling up. And of course, pets help you. If you have friends who play this game, they can give you some pets. The pets help with multipliers. But if you get enough of those clicks over there or the speed, you add add some of the speed, then you can, uh, you can start opening some of the pets and those will help you. Also, there's some things that you can buy if you want to spend robux for multipliers and the little loops all around the map those can help you but at the top you can see it says rebirth right there uh right now let's see we're gonna close this we're not gonna rebirth just yet but you see how it says 100 percent uh once that says 100 percent, go up there and rebirth so all you need to do is try to get 15 rebirths basically you have to just keep going through get enough speed and enough clicks and then you can see up there right now we're at 12 percent uh we can do and we did a rebirth but you have to get 15 of those and and over here we have this teleporter over here we've got phase terror chest over here and it's gonna tell you that you've got to do the 15 rebirths and you need like I think 125 K speed but once you've got 15 rebirths and you've got enough multipliers and you've got some pets and stuff you've got enough of that but these things around the map of course those are gonna help you uh, gain speed a little bit faster so you just keep walking you keep getting those you keep getting rebirths and you just kind of grind away because it's a simulator and that's what you do so uh, then after that all you have to do is once you you've got the requirements you just go through that portal and you're just gonna get it it doesn't get to, it's not gonna take you anywhere you don't have to do anything crazy just walk right through that and you will get the badge in the bottom right sort side of your corner if you've already done that and you're walking through and it's not working for you you can change the date on your device either your mobile device or your computer to the 12th so if you change it to May 12th it'll actually work uh, but yeah otherwise I just say uh, get those requirements done wait until tomorrow when the event is officially released and then go through there and get yourself the badge. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Phase Terror Case in the game Bean Blast. So when you come in here, all you have to do is uh, you can talk to Faye over here. She's going to tell you uh, about her teleporter is broken and she needs three shards. So very similar to some of the games, some of the missions that we've seen already as a part of the metaverse thing. This is very similar to the game Drop Blocks. Remember uh, last week or the week before, there was a Drop Blocks thing. You had to go through three different missions and during those three missions, you had to collect some of the shards. Now this is the same thing she needs three meta shards to fix her portal and then you can come back you can go through the portal and you can go to the next part so uh all you have to do is go through the mini games each of the mini games are fairly easy there's some obbies there's some of them where you have to step on squares and tiles and do different stuff uh but each one of these there is going to be a shard hidden somewhere so it might not necessarily be obvious when you first go through it so if you have an obby don't just go straight to the end right there because you haven't collected it yet you want to make sure that you collect any shard that you're uh that you're in here for the obby so i haven't collected this one yet we're going to go a little bit further down below and we're going to see if the shard is actually down there and you can see right there that's where the shard is so once you go up to it you just interact with it to collect it uh so hold that button down make sure you collect it and you can see on the bottom right it says that i've got one shard so now we've gone through an intermission section just kind of skip through that uh go to a second game now we've got the shard in the middle there once again we find the shard and we go and collect it then you can just keep on playing that mini game now the last one here i got a obby once again and towards the end of this obby we're kind of cutting out the first part but it's pretty simple pretty straightforward you just go forward in the obbies the physics are a little weird when you jump it's almost like it's slippery it's like you're almost in space you tend to glide a little bit more than you would probably want so after you've got all three of those shards you can see on the bottom right you've got three of those now we come and we talk to Faye again so now that we've talked to Faye and we've got them she's gonna be like woohoo you found all the shards now she's gonna put the portal back together and then uh, you can actually go and walk through the portal and then after that it might take a little bit of a delay before it teleports you over here then there's just one last obby here that we have to go through now this beginning part is actually the uh, only fairly even like reasonably difficult part because uh, when you jump in the air it just feels like you glide quite a bit the physics are not quite what I'm used to here on Roblox and most like Roblox obbies and Roblox games so uh, after that all we have to do is just follow along this obby and it's pretty easy by the time we get to the end we will have phase treasure chest so the next part right here uh, on the left 
when you jump on those panels, you do sort of like slip down a little bit. So like right here, you don't want to slip down and fall. So make sure you jump uh, onto the next panel. Some of them seem like they're a little bit more slippery than others. So after that, if you got past that part, we're just going to roll down here to this next part and you can see at the very bottom we've got Faye and she's got her terror case uh interact with it to collect and you can see on the bottom right that you've got yourself that badge hey guys i'm going to show you how to get Faye's terror case in the game bloxy war so when you start it says metaverse champions collect 10 of those uh meta eggs and uh then you'll win basically so you can see you just click on claim this one you can get into a server by yourself a vip server by yourself and it's probably actually easier to do it that way otherwise uh you could be competing with people with these items so in order to get these items uh let's see i'd recommend do team uh turf war and then do future neo city it's a pretty small map uh these things are going to spawn in the middle of the map starting off usually in the very beginning they might not be there in the beginning but pretty much every minute or every 45 seconds in the map, they are gonna spawn. So if you're in a VIP server by yourself, after a certain amount of time, it turns cold. But right before that, these things pop up. So I was able to go in there and I was able to get them all by myself in the server. It was gonna shut down all by itself because there's no one else in the game. Now this is the second one, same map, te same team, go in there right away. There's two of those things. So now that there's two of those, that's cool. But now we're gonna wait until it almost times out for the game after about 45 seconds and there's nobody else in the game not even 45 seconds i think it's about 30. uh then it comes and it says cool uh it's a cold game so if there's other people in the server though whoever gets those is going to get them people are going to be fighting for those only one person can pick up each one so again another reason to do it in another server by yourself so we're doing the third round here same map any of the maps it's going to be in the middle and it's going to spawn every i don't know 30 to 60 seconds and then some people are going to be able to pick them up so you just want to play the game, stay towards the middle, and uh, try to pick those items up. After you've got number 10, you can see on the bottom right of the screen, we've got ourselves that badge. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Faye's terror case in the game Clown Killings. So uh, you're going to see in the lobby, Faye is right there. You talk to her, and there's a checklist next to her. It says win a game, you have to find her spray paint can, you have to find her backpack, and you have to find her radio. So the spray paint can is actually really easy. It's right there next to the list. So you just go and walk over it, and you can see it turns... It'll glow a little bit to show that you've collected it. And then you can see right here, it checks that off. So the next two, we're going to show you how to do winning a game. All you have to do in a game, if you're the clown, you have to kill everybody. Or if you are the survi survivor, you got to survive. But uh, next thing right here, here's the backpack. Like I was the clown and I was able to collect it as the clown as well. So you can get it as a clown or as a survivor. So we've got that in one map and different maps have different things in different places, uh, but they're not too difficult to find. Each of these items popped up really easily but there is the radio right there so uh go find the radio in the map that's very similar to the game incognito how we had to go and find different items uh now you go back there and you can see we've got the spray paint we've got the backpack and we've got the radio but winning a round is not checked off because we are in a vip server so that part you cannot do in a vip server you have to go into a public server and you have to actually win a round from there so go into a public server as an innocent person make sure you survive or if you're the clown make sure you can get everybody and then after you do that you can actually go and just collect that chest there standing right next to her hey guys i'm going to show you how to get phase terror case in the game dragon adventures so as soon as you spawn uh there's going to be some tutorial stuff you have to go through with an egg and a dragon really easy they just walk you through it but then once you go to the main area talk to Fay. you can also click on the little chest on the right side and it will teleport you to her she has a few tasks that she needs for you to do by talking to a couple of people and these people uh, are you're basically trying to barricade the city to protect it from something that's coming so down on the bottom you click on layer you select your dragon you go and you write it once you're writing it you press on the Q button and you can fly it's a lot easier a lot quicker to get around if you just determine that you're gonna fly so uh, just fly go and talk to Jack he's the lumberjack over here by this little cabin and uh, you're gonna talk to him he wants to build some walls and he needs your help uh, in order to help him, he's got piles of wood 
that look like this. It's really easy to see because of the big purple uh, particles drifting off from it. And then you have to drop them off one at a time in that square that he's got right there. So we're going to come out here. We're going to go and we're going to respawn our dragon, of course, because our dragon needs to pick these items up to bring them over there. But these are really easy to see and they even respawn in the different areas. But over by the piles of wood, you can see I picked up this purple thing and we're going to put this one down over here. Now we're turning around and there's already another purple thing right there in the exact same spot so it already respawned in the same spot and then uh if you just keep flying around see all of those wood piles it could potentially be by any of these wood piles but it's all really close and there's also another wood pile that's just close to the cabin that it could be right there right next to the cabin already see that down there next to the cabin that that's another one too so after we get three of them which is super easy you go over there you drop them off and then jack tells you about karen karen is calling the cops because no uh i mean um karen has a little bit of a leak going on and she needs your help with the leak so we're gonna follow the arrow the purple arrow to go and talk to karen that's really nice thank you to the devs for putting an arrow in there not making us wander around it's really nice having an arrow that shows you where to go so uh her pipe has burst and she needs you to fix the pipes and in order to fix the pipes she suggests maybe using dragon breath okay so i guess that's a good idea so we're gonna pull our dragon out and when we click on the left click button it will breathe fire so we just want to go through and breathe fire on each and every one of those leaks because i guess the fire is going to seal up the hose and it's going to make it so the the hose works normally i guess uh anyways when you're done doing all of those it will automatically go to the cutscene. you'll talk to karen and karen says you need to go and talk to faye she's got a few more jobs for you to do so once again we're going to mount our dragon we're going to follow this arrow we're going to go to the middle of town and we're going to talk to faye so she's right there same spot we're going to talk to her she says good job i just got a couple more <gasps> uh oh well never mind it looks like the fire monster decided to attack us a little bit earlier than expected we had you scheduled fire monster for 4 p.m and you're here at 2 uh we'd like for you to come back later otherwise i guess we're just gonna have to defeat you yeah never mind that's what we're gonna do we're gonna mount our dragon and we're gonna go defeat that fire monster on his own so once again we mount the dragon we go over to the area that is led that we're led to by the purple arrow thank you so much purple arrow then over here in the bottom you can see we've got this fire dragon he doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage to you now if i was far back doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage i gotta you gotta get like really really close to him to do any damage because i was worried that he was gonna do a bunch of damage to me but or that fire wasn't gonna work on him but it actually does but once you do get close enough it doesn't take very long he dies pretty quickly uh and then after you kill him you've saved the whole village why'd you go through all that trouble at this point like getting all the lumber and fixing that lady's hose karen karen's hose when she was she was just rude to me i was just jogging in the park anyways uh <laughs> so uh yeah go back to Faye, talk to Faye, and uh she's gonna say you did it thank you adventure and then because of this they can live in peace and also she's gonna say accept this chest as a token of our gratitude and you can see on the bottom right you've got the badge thank you for watching guys and if you'd like to support please use code DeeterPlay when buying robux and also make sure you subscribe and you've got the notification bell on not only for the launchers because i've got launchers for all of these launch boxes but also future news events and free items that hit the catalog on roblox so thank you for watching and we'll talk to you guys later